I'm saved, I'm healed, I'm free, I'm delivered by your name, I'm saved, I'm healed, I'm free. Uh, well, you are the one who was bringing me here. Look at him, look at him. This one, this is right one, oh proper. The right one was dislocated. This one was dislocated, oh coming out and the leg hanging like this. This, this oh. one was dislocated. Jesus. Okay. Oh my God. Ah, but Ramuji. Yeah, I'm okay. Oh. Ah. Uh, let me bring pasta. Pasta, come. Hi. Come, pasta. Oh. We have received our rest today. God. Hi. Time to rest. Huh? Let me bring the pasta. I want to ask him because he saw you when you were coming here. Look at the, look at the energy there. It's shocking, isn't it? It's shocking. No, this healing will be complete. Come, let me ask this man, because he was sitting here when you were coming. What do you say about this? Look at oh. him. Walk, brother, walk. Yeah. Look at him. Pastor, oh, look at la. him. <laughs> oh. Only good. So you, you were sitting here when he was coming, you saw him? Yeah, I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. Oh. Yeah, all pain gone. Before I sit there, <coughs> there was pain. Okay. Yeah, both sides, but on the yeah, mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. yes, mm. and also pain. so. But uh, I had this leg. Mm -hmm. There was no pain. There was no pain here. Okay. It was left to this side. Mm -hmm. But now also here, this side. This is bad. Okay. I'm sure there are people who saw you yesterday. Uh, yes. Ah, look at my mama. Hi, Daddy. Mama, come on, go This is an argument to our neighbors yes. and those who know us. Yes. At our surrounding and area. It yes. will be a very big argument to them. Yeah. Others will say, is it him? As I, I say, no, it's not him. It Did looks you see like him yesterday? Him. Yeah. That is a, I just hear an argument yesterday before, because you know, people know us. On Wednesday? Yeah. No, this, came on Wednesday. This yeah, no, yesterday. yesterday. Even you hospitals and hospitals, you see him, no? they know this case. Yesterday, yeah. came yesterday. Yeah. It will be an argument with how, how come? Is it how long? Two years. Two years. Yes. Wow. Look at him. You know when he was coming, he was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because all of us were sitting Even here. today, I, I saw him. Even today? Yeah. Because you have uh, all of you are visitors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's using a wheelchair. He's wheelchair bound. Yeah. In fact, he, he, oh, you're free. He refused to take again. Come with I've never done this. You have never done no, this. Oh, even to go, I cannot. Like, I have to my steps so that it's back mm. end. <laughs> so this one, literally your legs. This one. I can't do that. Because you're not feeling anything. <laughs> no, I can feel it though using it. Mm. Yeah. But the pain is a I can't leave them there. Yeah. 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 people that are still coming. Wow. Mm. All right, now. Wow. I, I must resign as a pastor. Ah, no, I must resign. <laughs> All right, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Uh, I wish I can sing a song for God. Glory to Jesus. You know, yesterday I want to tell you this. Yesterday I met this man. Come here. Come. Yesterday I met this man. This one. Yesterday. How many of you were, did you see him when he came to church? Those that are working on the visa side. Where are the people that are working there? You work there. You saw him. How was he working? He was struggling to walk and uh, he was using the crutches. Really he was using struggling. crutches? Yes. He could not walk? He could not walk. He was really, really struggling. How, how long were you not walking? Give me my mic. Here, listen to that. Uh, two years. Two years? Two years. Yeah. 
two full years. When he was coming that side where I was doing one on one there, there was a man that was helping him. This man. So when he reached there, I said to myself, this man has got faith. And if he has got faith, this man can be healed. You know, I touch him. After I touch him, he said, hi. What did you say after I touched you? You said, I am under something. Yeah, something is. From there, I touch him again. He said, oh, man, the pain is gone. Mm. Mm. Mama, his mom is here. She said, we went to different halls for two years. They have seen all kinds of different doctors. No help. The doctors are trying to diagnose him. No solution. Two years. From wheelchair to a bed. From the bed, wheelchair. Can you walk? Look at him. Look at him. Oh, can you give glory to the living God? Look at that. You know, let me tell you this. There's something that mama told me. She said, what will our neighbors say when we reach home? Yeah. Mama, what did you say about your neighbors? Yes, I quoted uh, John chapter 9, when Jesus opened the eyes of a, a, a blind man who was born blind. My God. With, uh, her, his case became an argument to his neighbors. Uh. Some say, is this the same man? And others not say others say no, it's not him. Mama said he this thing like to him. me yesterday. So his case became an argument. Our case also will become an argument. My God no. <laughs> you know. Uh, you know what she said to me, what will our neighbors say when they see this man? My God is coming for you. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program and uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makanenisa. And sitting with me here today is my family who had an opportunity of sitting down with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres Simono one-on-one. Ma, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I'm Pixie Lidamini from KZN and this is my son, Zakhe Lidamini. Ma, what are the reasons or challenges that brought you here? I brought my son. He is booked for operation for hip replacement, both hips. He could not walk, he could not do anything. He's wheelchair bound and also using crutches. Mm. So that's why we are here. We have room around every hospital. They took us in each, each and every hospital in KZN. So there is no solution. They booked for operation, the date is set. When we come there, the, the, the theaters are not working. There is a fault. Go back home. That is the status of, of issue. And later on, they said we must go in, in decrease weight because if you you, you will to be to, to be op operated there, he, you have to be 97 down. And we went there, and just at the beginning, the weight it, it decreased. But when it came to 101, <laughs> we we did everything we could. The weight refused to decrease. So if we are stuck, we were stuck. This is our last bus stop because we had nowhere to go. So hospitals can't help us because they need this 97 down. And this 97 down, we can't reach it. So we were just waiting home. Sir, can you just please give us a background story of what's been happening with you? Yeah, I've been sick for two years. Yeah, I started with one leg, the right leg, with pains. So I spent uh, some time in the hospital. The mm, they couldn't find anything. The so I went back home until I visited another doctor and then he found something and then he wrote a letter for me to go back to the hospital. So they booked me for operation of which it was f uh, this date one, January this year. But I went there, uh, machines at the theater were not working. Yeah. Um, they gave me a wheelchair on the way, but um, I use it. 
and Dora didn't like it. So, sir, just you just told us that it started with one leg, yes. right? So, what was happening? Were you feeling pains? Um, how did it move to the next leg, and how did you then become wheelchair bound, as you explained? Uh, as I've said, uh, one leg, mm. it was very painful. And when it's painful, it can be painful from up to mm. down, and even here on the back, uh, until it came to the other side. And then it was very difficult to walk. Mm. I couldn't walk. But I, I was trying to walk when it was one leg. But Sorry. when it two, I didn't work. And how did you feel at that point, you know, starting from one leg being painful and it moving to the next one? Mm, I'm stressed. Okay, at that time, how did you feel? The feeling of pain. Mm. <laughs> it's too much. I can't even tell you about that because I couldn't sleep. Uh, I use uh, sleeping pills, mm. uh, but uh, on, the, on the run, they couldn't help. Yes, they stopped working also. Yeah, So I was just used to, to the pain. Mm. And then tell us about the wheelchair. How how did it make you feel, you know, from being able to walk and not being able to walk? I was embarrassed. Mm. Mm. That's what I can say. Mm. That was a, an embar embar embarrassment uh, for the fit guy, the people they know in the community. They know how busy he is, mm. but now on the wheelchair. So that was an embarrassment. So you so how did you come about thinking of coming to church my mother here uh, sunday last weekend yeah the last sunday i think there was a uh, some a man here with the same problem like me me though he, he, to him it was one leg but same problem that's when we decided to come here there is a person who has the hip replacement your hip is giving you a problem. And the doctors are saying it must be replaced. Come, we pray together. God will heal you. Come, we pray together. You have a serious pain on your side. You have a problem of the hip. Hmm? Yes. And they say they want to replace it. I'm going for operation on on the 4th of this, 14th of this month. The 14th of this month. Yes. I cancel this operation in Jesus' name. Because if you become operated, you are going to be crippled. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Lift up your hands, I pray for you. Touch, touch, touch you. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Can I hit you on your side? Jesus' name. No operation in Jesus' name. You are free. Yes, I so I usually I follow charis on the Facebook. So every sun, uh, Sunday afternoon, then I go, I go and follow up. So I saw this case. Uh, pro uh, Prophet Estendo was prophesying someone with the very same issue. Although that man had only one pro one leg. So I know that that was the answer. Because bef before that, in my dream, I, I don't remember the year, I saw this. I saw this problem in a dream. <coughs> And then when it came, and I saw another dream again, where I was shown, I saw Apostle was standing, watching us. This man, because he couldn't walk, was just sitting, kneeling down. So I saw Apostle standing, watching, seriously at us. So when I heard, I got this message from the media, that uh, testimony, this prophecy was a prophecy for that man. I know now this is the time. I must go there. The anointing is ready for me there. I must take my son there. Um, so, so you had an opportunity of sitting down with Prophet Andrews yesterday. Can you just walk us through what happened when he saw you? Jesus, my dear. Mm, uh, uh, Prophet Andrews, uh, first of all, recognized me mm. because he he knew me before Jesus. I was 
Well, uh, last year, not not long. Last year, early uh, February, yes, I was here. So he saw me and he recognized me. Oh, this man, what happened now? What's wrong? And then I have to tell him the story. What was happening? Because he he told me, hey, we are sick. We are sick. But uh, I don't know. God, I saw you last year. You were right. But now, what changed? I tell him. I told him that after that February, the same February, I got sick. He start. The pain started. Mm. And what happened when he prayed for you? Hey, when he prayed for me, uh, I was just, I don't know, my, but my mind was not there. Hey, so I can tell you, I was not there. And something like touching, but yeah, the, yeah on the left, because I told him, hey, I had something this side. Mm. And again, he prayed for me again. Mm. So I told him, no. But the thing I had, after it, the pain is gone. Sure. Yeah. But uh, I already got pain every time, and uh, not any time. Mm. I, I will have to have pain, and I'll for sure be used to it. Mm. Yes. So he prayed for me, mm. and uh, I feel pain going away. Mm. After that time, I didn't. That, that, like I said, my mind was not there. My mind came back. Oh, what was happening? So I started like wanted to feel anything. I I feel nothing. Mm. And I was shocked. Even I went to into to tears. Mm. You were not there with your camera. You, you have just saw it. Mm. I was even on tears because I didn't believe it. Yes, I didn't believe it. And I started walking. Yes, okay. I walk. I jump. Hey, eh. till today. Yes. Even though you today, I, t- I told the prophet Makanisa there. Ah, yeah. Even though I've got, I've, I've had those little pains, but as I, I don't even want to, to entertain <coughs> it, this, I will just leave it there. And then the prophet said, "Hey, you got a lot of faith. That's why you got the little pain, but you don't give it any chance." Yes. Hmm. For now, I'm good. Yes, I'm very good. I'm happy, and I thank God for that. Mm. And you also saw the apostle this morning, one on one. What did he say when he spoke to you? I release you. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. In Jesus' name. Hey, how's it happen? Be free. Tell me what is that you cannot do? Tell me. I couldn't stretch. I couldn't walk. You cannot go up. Mm. Tell me. Go, walk. Go outside. Go there. Yes. 
This man is a wheelchair man. He has a wheelchair at home and two crutches in the car. He right with but he's walking, standing, he's doing everything. So Let's do like this. Because I want to touch you for the last time. Yeah. Uh, and the blood is moving. Yes, yes. Please, there. Face me now. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Brother, you are free, come. I told everything about myself, sure. even where the thing is coming from. Mm. Even those people, you told me, two, there was two people that are doing this. Mm. And Evie told me that uh, their days are numbered. Mm, I feel sorry for them, but mm, there's nothing I can do if God says so. Amen. Yes. Mm. And so how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres from coming here not being able to walk and being able to walk? Mm. I'm relieved actually. Mm. I'm relieved and I can see that I'm back again to earth. Because mm. I wasn't there. Mm. Yeah, I was in somewhere, I don't know. Or Disneyland or whatever is it, I don't know. But I wasn't here. And Ma, how do you feel seeing your son being able to walk? Happy and great. Yes, I'm very much uh, happy. And I thank God. I bless the name of Jesus Christ. And I believe it is done. What I know in the scriptures, when God says it, that thing surely must come to pass. As he has said it here, that we are healed. No one will hinder that. It shall come to pass. Thank you. Ma, you mentioned a very important um, issue that for you to come here, you saw a clip um, of Prophetess Tendo speaking to a, a, a man who had a very similar problem with what your son had and you decided to come. So what do you have to say to somebody who's going to come across this video? Yes, I can maybe advise because God may speak to someone else. For God to speak to this somebody, he is not speaking to that somebody alone. He is speaking to everybody who has a problem, specifically those who have the same problem. So no, God is revealing himself that I can heal this one. If you have the same thing, you just run there. Thank you.